All right, so this particular video is regarding form filling guideline for UPSC GSI exam or geoscientist exam. A lot many of you are having trouble in filling the form and I can understand it because uh, the process or the form filling process is little bit different. It's not as usual process. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm going to explain you in detail how you can fill this form uh, with without making any mistakes. All right. So this is the official page uh, here. You can see all the important dates are here. So in case if you are watching this video later on, uh, the form filling is going to go till 11th of October 6 p.m. Fill the form before that and the exam will be on 19th of February 2023. All right. Now, if you click on this notice, uh, you will be able to download the complete notice over here. And in that notice, one website is mentioned that here you can apply online. But if you go to this website, if you click and go to this website, this is where you are taken to. There is no direct link to apply for, but there is something called as one time registration. And this is what UPSC has started recently. Uh, they have now made a single uh, portal where you can just make one time registration. And once you do your registration, if you apply for any UPSC exam later on, all your details will be filled automatically. So it's a one time registration portal, which is mandatory if you are applying for any UPSC exam, just like UPSC GSI exam. So if you fill one once, like if you just do one time registration, your all details will be over there and it will be safe and it will be kept over there so that whenever in the next time you have to apply, you just have to give your like a uh, your uh, like ID and your password and then all the details will be filled automatically. So that's the benefit of this one time registration. All right. So this is what you have to do. But a lot many of you must be getting error because if you click on this, uh, this page shows that this page does not exist. And I don't know why, but the link is not working from here. But I have found an alternative link for this and I will give you that link uh, so that you can come directly to this page to the one time registration page from the description of this video. All right. So I'll give you the link. The link is there in the description. If you click on that link, you will be taken to uh, this particular page. Now this page is again a UPSC page. If you see, it says HTTPS. That means it's a authorized page and UPSC online dot NIC dot in slash UPSC slash OTRP slash index dot PHP. So I will give you the link. You can directly come over here. Now this is again UPSC page. You can see all the things are over here. These are the instructions for one time registration. Now, let's first of all tell you, let, let me tell you what are the benefit of uh, one time registration. The applicant needs to fill their personal detail only once. Applicant need to upload document if required. And one time registration information is digitally available anytime, anywhere. And one time registration information get automatically populated while applying under any commission's notification. So that is the benefit of it. Now, uh, you have to like, uh, it, it, there is an option like if you are already registered for it, you can basically continue it. But because I guess most of you would be, would not have been registered already. So you have to click on this new registration. Okay. So once you click on this new registration button, now you will be taken to this page where you have to fill all these details. You have to fill your name, your full name, your gender, then you have to fill your date of birth, then your father's name, your mother's name, your uh, like minority status your mobile number, your alternate mobile number, your email ID, then um, one security question will be there and then CAPTCHA code and that's all. Okay, so you have to fill this complete form so that everything remains over there. All right, so see over here it says, right, that uh, applicant can submit his her following details. All the details are already mentioned over here, like name, full name, gender, uh, date of birth, father's name, mother's name, minority status, valid mobile number, alternate mobile number, valid email address, alternate email address, board of examination, roll number that is for class 10th and security question. All these things you have to fill in the registration portal. Then if you are already registered, you can basically log in through your ID that is your email ID or mobile number and a OTP that will be sent to your phone. Okay. Or you can log in through the password as well that is by using your ID and by using the password which you remember. Then you have to basically uh, go for the verification part and then you have to go to the dashboard and then you can fill the form completely. But let me show you that how you can do. So first thing is to register to fill this all detail. So because I guess all the things are quite explanatory itself. So I'm just going to fill it for myself. And once I will be done with it, I will show you that what you are going to do in the next step. Everything is simple. Your name, full name. Okay, so uh, you have to fill both the time. Your name, you have to fill both the time. All right. And all the things which are marked with this star, these are mandatory. Okay. So I guess this is clear to you. Let me just fill it up for me and I will show you what happens in the next step. So I'm done with all the details now. I will just submit over here. 
and once I will submit uh, my personal detail is again going to show me whatever I have filled is shown over here and now it says if you wish to update or change any information just check all the information and if you want to make any change just uh, click over here to cha make changes otherwise you click on I agree make sure that your name is as per your 10th mark sheet your fa father's name is as per your 10th mark sheet your mother's name is as per your documents okay so all the things should be as per your documents don't make spelling mistakes and all those things okay so I am like I am happy with it so I'll just press I agree on this and then I will be taken to uh, like uh, the OTP or the verification page now here I have to verify both the things I have to verify my mobile as well as I have to verify my uh, like email address so I have got an OTP on my mobile phone I will just fill that OTP and similarly I have got an OTP on my email address the email address which I have given I have got an uh, OTP over there as well so I will just fill that OTP again once I have filled both the things I will just uh, verify the OTP and then it will just say that yes uh, one time registration is successfully submitted so all my details are now successfully saved over here uh, what I have to do now is I can either take a print of it I will suggest you to please take a print if you click over here you will be able to take the print of it and just keep it or just save this okay just save it with you okay so just save this as a PDF all right now what I have to do is I have to again log in okay so I have to click on this login button and then again I will be taken to the first page here I can log in using all the three modes now since I have already registered so I can either log in through my email address or mobile number or OTP or OTR ID okay so now I am going to do with my email address email address which I have filled I will just fill that and uh, let's let's do that okay so for all those I am just telling you once again in order to log in you have to tell you have to fill your email address you have to click on this get OTP uh, you will get a OTP on your registered email address you have to fill that OTP here you have to fill this captcha code and then you have to press login in order to log in now okay so let's continue with it let's click on login and uh, now I am taken to this page okay now uh, here it says that uh, my name and other things are already here if I want to make some changes this see some changes are allowed like you can make change in your gender you can make change in your minority status you can make change in your alternate email uh, mobile number or you can make change in your alternate email address okay so these are some changes which are allowed uh, but fine uh, now it says that I have to make a password okay I have to create a password now how to create a password information is given over here that the length of the password must be must not be less than eight character it should contain one upper le case letter one lower case letter one a number it should contain and it should contain one special character special characters are like at the rate or hash or, or underscore all these are special characters so I have to make a password now okay so let me quickly do that okay and I don't want to make changes in, on any of them so I don't have to click if in case you want to make change in your alternate mobile number then you have to click here and then you can make change but I don't want to do that so let let it be like that itself okay so let me make my password okay make sure that you fulfill all the details once you uh, like all the conditions if you fulfill all of them what tick will come over here and now you can submit your query okay so let me submit it so uh, now make sure that you remember your email address which you have filled over here and the password which you have just created these two things are going to be very important okay note it down somewhere so that you don't forget them now I have uh, the important instructions to fill online application form all the details are over here uh, but yeah uh, over here it says recent activity what is the exam or what is the like uh, what is the exam year or what is the application status if I have filled any one of them it will show over here okay but since uh, it shows, shows like first login means this is my first login on this particular portal and then um, like all the things are there I can see my profile uh, all the other things are there I have my OTR ID as well so you will get your own right and all the details are over here now I have to fill my form so one time registration is done now Okay, one time registration is done now I have to fill the form so for that you have to go to uh, latest notification now here it says that there are two exams going on one is engineering engineering service uh, preliminary stage and one is combined geoscientist preliminary examination so it says that the notice date is from 21st of uh, September and the last date is 11th of October everything is over here right and uh, part one registration is going on so uh, what I have to do is I have to click on this to do my part one registration there are instructions also to the candidate 
notification is also there but what i have to do i am just going to tell you quickly so you just have to click on this part one registration and once you will do that you will be taken to this page where all the instructions are there all the basic instructions are there you have to come down a little bit it says have you read and understood the important instructions and the detailed instructions so you say yes i have read and i have understood whatever is there right now you will be taken to the part one application so this is how it looks this is your part one registration it will contain your name see everything is already filled like uh, since you have done one time registration everything is already filled uh, all the things are so what are the parts which i have filled over here first you have to fill your community detail whether you belong to general obc sc whatever category you belong then you have to fill your marital status whether you are married or unmarried then you have to fill whether you belong to uh, physically uh, like uh, whether you belong to a pwd category then uh, whether uh, you uh, your educational qualification you have to fill your address you have to fill these are the things which you have to fill rest of the things are already filled over here okay once i am done with it i'll just click continue okay so make sure you are filling everything very correctly okay so if you are claiming age relaxation yes or no okay so since i am not claiming any age relaxation so i will select no and then i will continue okay so now i have to select photo id card which photo id card i want to give so let's say i want to give my uh, pan card as my photo id card and then uh, they will ask the number of that okay and then confirm that so you have to fill that two times then comes uh, here the specific detail for combined geoscientist exam eligible candidate for serving competing for so for what you are competing whether you are competing for chemist group a or whether you are competing for chemist group b or whether you are competing for both of them remember for chemist group a there are 19 post for chemist or scientist b there is just one post and for both of them total you will be competing for 20 seats so it's better to select both of them then comes the center for combined geoscientist which center you want okay so just select a center for you and uh, yeah once you are done with it you can just so this is for the mains exam okay so this is the center selection for the stage 2 examination if you qualify in that case so make sure you select your center and then just press continue okay so now all my details are here on the screen uh, like all the things which i have filled everything is over here uh, what i have to do is i have to just check whether everything is correct or not if it is correct i have to not do anything other otherwise i have to update and make changes okay but since everything is correct i will just fill the captcha code and then i will say i agree okay so it says once you agree no changes will be permissible in part one registration of your application please make sure you correct like you fill everything correctly so since i have already checked it i will say yes okay fine i don't want to make any changes so now now my part a is filled already okay uh, I'll get my registration ID, my name, my father's name, mother's name, date of birth and my address are over here. And at the same time, I will get my email and uh, my mobile. I will get a notification regarding that my part one is filled. Okay. I can either take a print of this. If you want, you can take it or if you don't want, it's fine. Okay. So now your part one is done. You have to now do or you have to now fill the part two of your application. Part. Okay. So again, you have to go back to the page or basically you can go through the link which i have given in the description you can again come to this page you have to again log in over here if you want you can log in if it is already logged in it is good uh, you will see that on the dashboard it says that recent activity it says that uh, combined geoscientist pre-exam and it's not completed because i have not filled the second part so now i'm going to fill the second part for that again you have to go to this latest notification and if you click here again it says combined geoscientist exam uh, year is given then uh, the notice number is given and all the things are here uh, part one is i have already done now part two i have to do so part two there are three things which i have to do here one is pay examination fees second is upload photo and third is so, uh, center selection so let me click one by one so if i click on this pay uh, fees now i have to pay the fees so i can do the payment by two ways one is by cash i have to go to some sbi branch and i have to get the chalan and do it but these days we are all digital so we can do it by the second method that is by online so all bank internet banking credit card debit card upi by all these means you can do it so if i click over here i can continue and i will pay my fees okay let me cut back once i pay the fees okay this part this payment part will not be there for girls because girls don't have to pay any fees for this like female candidates then anyone who belongs to sc category they also don't have to pay any fees 
only general and obc category and ews category boys has to pay this fees okay so let me uh, pay the fee and get back okay so once you are done with your payment uh, here it says transaction status is success all the other details are here if you want you can take a screenshot of it uh, it's up to you now the next thing is to continue and to upload your photo and uh, photo id sign and photo id card so let's continue with it now here uh, again i'll be taken to the same like my uh, uh, like latest notification page here see now it gives that i have uh, like paid the fees now i have to upload photo and sign again i have to click over here i have to upload my photograph i have to upload my signature i have to upload the uh, photo id card now we have to make sure that the photo size and all are uh, as per their uh, instruction okay everything is given over here so let me quickly upload the photo and sign and let me show you what happens next okay so i have uploaded my documents but when you are uploading your documents make sure that whatever details or whatever dimensions or whatever size they have said please do uh, upload in that format itself it took a lot of effort for me a lot of time i have to retry to upload my documents so please make sure you download or you upload your documents carefully now i'll just click continue and now uh, this is again done so upload photo and sign and photo id is done now i have to uh, go for center selection so now this is the last thing which i have to do so center selection i have to click here now i will just select one of the center which i want to give exam for and once i am done with it i just have to go for this declaration and i have to read all the things that whatever information i have given is all correct and then i have to click here that i have read declaration and agree so if i click on this and now my complete form is done so i'm done with c part one registration is done payment is done uh, photo sign is done and center selection is done i will again get a email and a sms that i my form submission is complete and now i'm done with it i have completely filled my form so this is how you have to fill the form this is the whole procedure for it uh, for application status you can click on this and then over here it says uh, you can go to this application status here also in the dashboard but here it says that my part one is completed my part two is also completed and uh, application status is that both the part one and part two are completed you can view and print application if you want to do that it's totally up to you application history if you go so it says that uh, you have filled uh, this uh, geoscientist exam form on this this date and part two is also filled on this date so everywhere it will notify that you have done this so this is how you have to uh, fill this form using a one-time registration um, like option of upsc and that's all about this video i hope you guys understood and i hope this will be very useful for filling the form because i know it was a big trouble for most of the students to fill this form so that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.